And we are in the throes of flu season. 26 million people sick, 25,000 people have died, and it's a time of year when we always pull out these things to try to disinfect our homes. But as Michelle Lee reports, you still might want to be cautious with some of these cleaning supplies because not all of them are safe, right? Right, and you know, you might not know that a lot of disinfectants also contain pesticides, and these companies are often targeting schools and teachers in their marketing plans. The thing is, a lot of these ingredients are not safe for kids, and ultimately they can be linked to problems like asthma if there's long-term exposure. And kids we know are at a greater risk of having injuries because they breathe in more air per pound of their body weight than adults, just simply they're smaller than all of us. So we all probably recognize ingredients like bleach, Peroxide, those are two we know, but then there's an ingredient known as quats, which is an EPA registered pesticide and it goes by several names as well, which you can see right there on your screen. Consumer Reports says quats were linked to hundreds of pesticide related illnesses in kids, 830 out of nearly 2600 to be exact. Those illnesses included eye, skin or respiratory issues. The question is what can you do? Well, for most people, just know this, know that cleaning alone will remove plenty of germs. That means using soap and water and getting the dirt off. Disinfecting is critical though in healthcare and early childhood facilities. And when you do need to disinfect, like someone's in your house is mm -hmm. sick, mm -hmm. so just do it right. Consumer Report says you have to dust first to get the disinfectant to work because if you have dust particles, it's not as effective. Uh, and then also leave the surface wet for several minutes. Keep disinfectants away from kids. Uh, make sure kids are out of the room when you're using the disinfectants and then also for a little while afterwards. And be aware of the fumes the products give off. Yeah. Uh, also consider buying safer products. Consumer Reports found that products that use hydrogen peroxide were linked to fewer health issues than bleach or quats. Now, if you would like to see a list of products that meet the EPA's list of safer choices, you can text the word CLEAN to 206-448-4545. We'll send you a link. I will tell you, when you search the word disinfectant mm -hmm. on that site, you will find zero searches in return. But if you want to look for the active ingredient, let's say on this, it's right here. Uh, Let me it's see really that. tiny. It says quats. But it doesn't say quats, it says it's, the long name. It says, so you have to know yeah. the long name. Dimethyl benzyl ammonium. And that means that there could be pesticides in yeah. the That is products. a pesticide. This is also a pesticide. So a lot of people would use this brand because they think it's better. Thymol oh is considered a pesticide as well. However, the EPA doesn't have any data on this being okay. um, a problem yeah. for people. But Ton just people. check the ingredients. Ton I've of been looking are texting at these. in this morning too. Yeah, it's good information. Yeah, it Great info. Thank you, Michelle.